Today, Catholic Memorial really straddles the traditional academic excellence that everybody would associate with a premier Catholic boys' school like CM. But I think we're blending that with innovation in the classroom in terms of helping students master their content. But I think that also we want to engage a new generation of students and help them to contribute to their communities and help them to learn new skills in terms of interacting with each other and then applying their knowledge to develop solutions within our society. This is such an exciting time. There is so much new curriculum being developed. There are so many new courses being developed. And really the idea is to think about students differently than we have in the past so that students are being engaged and challenged in ways that we never did in years past. The jobs that they will be getting into when they graduate from college may not even exist yet. And so we have to think about how the curriculum needs to adapt and change towards that particular direction. So starting this year, every student who graduates from Catholic Memorial will do so with a year of statistics under their belt. Statistics is the mathematics of all research that takes place in all of the science and social sciences fields. It's what drives algorithms for search engines. It's what helps determine whether a new medicine is effective or not. Statistics is the pinnacle of our mathematics. However, every student who comes through Catholic Memorial now can achieve, if they desire, an AP level in computer science, statistics, and the traditional algebra to calculus track. We see all three of those as really the three legs of a unifying stool that allows students to be computationally relevant and competent as they move into college in the workforce. The stuff that we learn in my AP stats class, I can really connect. My dad and I, we always talk about sports stats and especially this year, he's getting a little jealous because I'm getting a little bit better than him at talking sports stats, but it definitely influences me to pursue something like that in the future. I love having Mr. Versa as my teacher. Personally, I'm not the best at math, but he makes it in a way so I can understand it and everyone else in the class can understand it. The teachers are always great and they're always here after school. They're always there to lend a helping hand. And not only are they good academically, but a good amount of them you can talk to personally too about life experiences. Like Mr. Durazo understands 16 and 17 year old boys. He understands why we do the things we do. And I think that allowed him to sort of build a relationship with the students that not a lot of teachers can do. At CM, relationships matter. Boys feel that this is their home, that they're loved here, that they're cared about, and that's not just words, but actually the relationships our boys have with faculty, with one another. From seventh grade to 12th grade, boys aren't just with their classmates, but our brotherhood really is an all-encompassing theme here. Campus Ministry is a collection of programs that we offer our students to cultivate their spirituality, to cultivate community and relationships, and to invite our boys to consider giving their lives in service to respond to the needs of others. We run a collection of travel-based service and immersion programs throughout our school year that are developmentally geared towards different ages of students. We take trips to Philadelphia to explore urban homelessness and poverty. We travel to places like the U.S.-Mexico border, Peru, Wyoming, our country's national parks, Grand Teton National Park in Yellowstone. The hallmark of each of these programs isn't necessarily the work that students do there, but rather the brotherhood they form, the relationships they forge with those with whom they are serving. One of the hopes of our campus ministry program is to empower our boys to respond to Jesus and be both critical and compassionate. To be critical in the sense that they're analytical and non-innocent about the way in which the world works, about the needs of others, and compassionate to respond as Jesus did in his time to the needs of those around us. Through the theology classes and just classes in general, I've learned how to truly build meaningful relationships in my life. Never expected that coming into CM. Originally, when I came to CM, I was a little scared what I was, I was going to fit in, especially coming from a public school. And as soon as I came here, I felt automatically welcomed. And like now I feel like it's my second home. I first felt like I belonged to CM when I was a freshman I joined the forensics team and the upperclassmen didn't treat me like I was a freshman or someone less than them, but they treated me like I was their friend and their brother. 
I felt like I really belonged at CM when my friends and I went on a bursty trip to Philadelphia and we really bonded over community and brotherhood. I first felt like I belonged at CM on my first day of school when a group of older kids came up to me and welcomed me to the school. When the captain of the speech and debate team gave me a high five. When my host Brian introduced me to his friends at the lunch table and made me feel at home.